Inkaholic here, and today we're going to be talking about mob spawning rooms with a loot collection and a separation system uh, that someone requested me to do, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to build a mob spawning room. Uh, you can do this several different ways. Um, someone, the person that requested me uh, to do this tutorial was referring to the one that I did on Social Craft. Now, the one I did in Social Craft was kind of underground and had a lot of design flaws, so this one will be a little bit different, but this is basically all I did was make uh, a large room with about eight blocks on each side with a two block gap in the middle. And then I use these trap doors here that are closed and put them along the edges. Now, you need to make sure that you have a three block height underneath these trap doors because the mobs will get stuck on them if you are only two blocks. So make sure that there's three blocks gap below the trap doors. Uh, and like I said, this is going to be uh, a little bit different than the uh, norm other one that I did on Social Craft. But the it doesn't really matter you know most of you already by you know should already know how to make a mob spawning room of some sort uh so as long as this is the end result where they end up landing is down here in this little water trough and to help carry them along what you'll do is just put some steps down and put a sign in front of the step one block higher like so which you've now caused a little air block right here and you can just put water sources there and if I let go of the directional keys and drop down in here I will float right over the top of the steps and continue on so we just do that on both sides until we can find the center and it doesn't really matter uh, you know just you know I'm stopping it two blocks back further than the far water will go but you know this is entirely up to you this isn't exactly how you have to do it but just as long as You've got a mob room, you know, that'll spawn mobs and a little water channel system to direct them to a, you know, a central location. Now for the killing chamber, what we need to do is, is just below the center point of the trap, uh, we need to come down, you know, it doesn't really matter, four or five blocks or so. Uh, you know, here's where they'll fall down at. And there will be water in here pushing them in this direction. Now up against this wall here will be the actual killing chamber. Now most of you have seen lava blades and stuff before where the lava blade uh, is recessed in the wall and you put ladders down and the lava flows out over one block, you know, where you knock all these out. Um, that's not really the best design that I think I've ever seen because you actually end up losing a lot of the loot. Uh, it gets burned up in the lava blade as well. So what we're going to do here is on the roof, we're going to put half slabs. And you got got to make sure this is three blocks tall in here, okay? So we're going to put half slabs on the roof. And then on the wall, we're going to use um, iron fence, iron, you know, or you could use uh, glass panes as well. Um, and then let me close off the front up here. And then you just created yourself a little air block and you put the lava up there. So the lava has nowhere to go. And with the water here, the mobs will jump up because they're, that's their, you know, they jump in water. So we'll put the water down here and show you what I'm talking about. They'll get right here and just keep jumping. And they'll jump into the lava until they take enough damage and die. And the loot will fall down into the little trough. So we'll put a glass wall here so we could see it in action put a water block here and this will carry the loot to wherever you want it to go um, keep in mind that if you do use ice um, not to have any uh, light source or you know away from that lava because it will melt the ice but the ice will make the loot travel faster so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on easy and we've already got some mobs spawning up in there now I only did one layer I mean I could have done this you know, built a whole bunch of layers, which is probably what you need to do. Uh, but for one, right now, just for this demonstration, I just did one. It's spawning a couple of them. So, as you can see, the mobs are jumping in the water, and the half slab is keeping them down. But it's also keeping the lava from, you know, flowing all over the place. So they just sit up there and they burn, and all the loot just drops down. And you can use a water to carry it wherever you need to go. So now let's go over the loot collection and separation. Now, 
the design that I used on Social Craft was very, very redstone heavy and very intensive, and it lagged. It lagged a lot. There were so many mobs and so many things going on at one time that any time that I brought someone over to Skull Mountain to show them, it was horrendous at the lag. I mean, oh my god, it was bad. So, this is another design that I found and that I've been sticking with lately. And it's nowhere near as redstone intensive. It's very easy to build um, and takes up a whole lot less space and resources. So all you want to do is, is have yourself um, a train of hoppers and make sure they're all pointed into one another. You notice that they're all pointing to the right into the next one. And I'm using these blocks to place hoppers. You know, a lot of people have problems with with hoppers is because they don't realize that they're directional. You know, you, when you look at a block and you click on it with a hopper, that's the block that the hopper is attaching to. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting blocks behind here because I need the next hopper to face backwards. So I'm just going to click on the block, and that's pointing the hopper into the block, and then I'll go back and I'll knock the blocks down. So I'm just going to skip every two and put one back down, just like so. And then, I'll, like I said, get rid of all these blocks. And those are going to be the, like the filters, the, the, the filter hopper, I guess. We're going to load those up with a certain item, and that's the only item that will be picked up. Now, there's a couple different ways you could do it from down here. You could have one pointed down and then have a chest on the ground with a hopper pointed into the back of it or so on and so forth. So there's different variations of what you could do. Like, let's see, well, not that way, but... You know, you'd have a chest here, and you put a hopper underneath it. And just make sure you shift-click onto the chest so that you see that it's pointing into the chest. You know, you could do it that way, or um, let me show you another way um, that I prefer to do. It's actually going to raise it up uh, one higher, which is fine. Um, and this is a little bit uh, tricky, and I'm kind of doing this in an open world, so you need to... Make sure that you um, know where your chests are going to be. Because, like, I built this backwards. You know, I started at the mob farm and I'm ending up at the chest where you would probably want to find out where your chests are going to be or where you want them and work your way back up. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, simply just, you know, place the chest down and then the hopper can go directly into it right there. So, um and again, I'm just going to place some blocks down here, and those are just temporary for me to click on them with the hopper to get them to point it in the right direction. And the last person that I tried to show this, you know, they're like, you know, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And, I'm, and I went over there to check on them, and sure enough, it was because the hoppers were facing the wrong way. And I'm like, well, you you got to have a somewhat... You know, you got to be smarter than the tools you work with. That's kind of an old saying at my job. You got to be smarter than the tools you work with. So, uh, think about what you're doing before you do it. All right. So let me just put some chests in front of these hoppers here, and these will represent the different uh, loot drops that we will get from the mobs. Um, and I'm just kind of doing this by fly. It's you know, there's. Numerous ones. There's there's going to be spiders that spawn on here. The only mob that won't spawn in here will be Endermen because, well, one, the roof is only two blocks tall. But even so, uh, we're dealing with water and Endermen don't go into water. So uh, come behind the, the back side here where the filter hopper is facing out. This is where you're going to put a comparator facing away from the hopper. And that comparator is going to pick up a signal which will power some redstone and just do your block layouts like this you want one off the uh, block behind there and then knock this one out like so and we're gonna put not a comparator I got two comparators oops get a redstone repeater put a repeater here and we're going to put a redstone torch on this block so that it's turning off that particular hopper. And then just put two little bits of redstone dust. And now all you got to do is 
put the the filter process which is basically you're just going to fill this hopper up with whatever item that you want and you don't have to have a stack of 64 in each one no you can just take and just put one in each slot except for the first one and it will stop at around 18 I think is where it is so as you can see it's draining down and there it goes it stops so now it's shut off and it's cut off the hopper to, to keep them from flowing out and emptying it completely so let me go ahead and build the rest of them real quick so comparator facing out two bits of redstone dust a repeater and a redstone torch it's very very simple very very easy and you can just continue this down and you know this is good for doing your storage rooms and stuff uh, you can have one chest and have everything separate into it so now what we need to do is take all this stuff out and we will get rid of everything in here and let's get us some mob drops here so we got rotten flesh um see there's gunpowder there and we got bones arrows and bows and that's five five okay that'll work all right so for the first one let's do rotten flesh so we'll put a stack of 64 in here and we'll just fill them all up and just drop the rest in there and as you can see they're draining into the chest so the next one we'll do gunpowder and this one we can do the bones so just one in each and then the next one the first slot will be 18. now bows bows are not stackable so bows do not work in this uh, situation so what we're going to do is is down here on the end you don't really need this and you know uh, redstone apparatus thing down at the end uh, because like I said bows aren't stackable and you are going to get other drops so you, you might get you know records from creepers believe it or not so you can go ahead and take all this stuff down you don't really need it and just have the very last chest be you know like a runoff chest where all the runoff loots will come down in here and go into this one chest so your bows will go in here uh, spider eyes if you haven't made a separate spot for spider eyes and uh and yeah so let me go ahead and take all the excess out right now and we will crank up the mob farm again and i'll take all this stuff out of my inventory just to show you so all the chests are empty my inventory is empty and i'll turn the uh, difficulty back on to easy real quick And I guess just to uh, speed up the process and show you, like, th you know, this system can hold a lot of mobs. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to spawn a bunch of them real quick because, I, like I said, I only built this one little pad here and it's not going to spawn uh, that many. But you could do this multiple layers and just knock out the center so they could all fall into the water. And uh, that'll work. All right. So now that we got that, we've got a whole bunch of mobs in there spawning. They're all falling down. They're all dying by the lava. The loot's dropping. Dropping down the tube into the row of hoppers and getting filtered out. There's the rotten flesh. There's the gunpowder. There's your bones. And your arrows. And then the runoff. Now, of course, there was nothing in the runoff, but... Just for the sake of demonstration, what I will do is take, let's just see, we'll just grab something here. All right, so trap chest and two pieces of carpet I'll just throw in there just to show you that it didn't go in there or here or here nor there but down here. And there you go. Alright guys, well hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's very helpful for you and uh, good luck in building this. Uh, like I said, you can build any kind of mob farm you want, but uh, thanks for watching. 
Uh, please subscribe for more tutorials, and we will see you guys later.